Hello and welcome to this video. I wanted to do an off the cuff, uh, very realistic video. So I haven't done much planning because I want this to be as genuine as possible. But what is this going to be? This is going to be a ClickFunnels, how to create your opt-in page video. And I'm going to do a step-by-step -step on the actual ClickFunnels website. So you'll be able to see how to do this. And this is really, really important because if you don't have a funnel, you don't have an opt-in page, then how are you collecting leads? And if you're not collecting leads, how are you getting sales? Every company needs to be collecting leads somehow. So you can see here, I'm on the ClickFunnels website. Obviously, I've signed in. If you haven't signed up, the link can, is down below. But I've signed in, so you wanna to go to, hover over here, click Funnels. Once you've done that, you can click Add New Funnel. Right, and then you can do Create New Funnel over here, Collect Emails, and let's do YouTube Test and we don't need to do the group tag, it's not important. And then we could do build funnel and then it slowly builds it for you. All right, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually go in and create the funnel. So here you can see we've got all these templates and there are tons and tons of templates, but I kind of wanna show you how to do it from scratch just so you know, okay? So we're gonna go for the empty one, which should be about, where is the empty one? Um, Here's the empty one. Right, so we're gonna click the empty one. So this will come up. And you've also got the thank you page down here, which you don't really have to worry about so much for now, but let's just let's just talk about the opt-in. So once you're here, you can do a few things. Firstly, you can click this and then you can change the path. So when someone actually clicks on the link, this is what will show. And you can also change the name here. Now you can also go to settings and connect it to your domain. So for example, we can connect it to Azon, uh, we can connect it here to Azon U or Active Athletes or whatever we want to connect it to. Now, connecting your domain is a separate topic and if you want me to make a video on how to do that, then let me know and I can. But for now, let's just go to the opt-in and let's click edit page, right? Now this should take us to the page editor. Right, this is just a blank page as you can see. Right, so if we delete this, and we delete this, right, we are left with this. Now let's delete this and start really from fresh. First thing you have to do is add a section, okay? So you've got a section. You want to decide on the width of your section. Do you want it to be small, medium, large, or full width? So we're gonna go with a wide, okay? This is actually, you know what? For the top one, we're gonna go for a full width. Add new section, we'll go for full width for the top. Right, and then in the section, you wanna add a row. So let's say a one column row. And then when, within that, you can add an element, okay? So let's say we want to add an image, okay? And then, or let's say we don't even want to add an image, we just want a background. So we can go to settings and we can do background and let's just make it yellow. And to be honest, if we want the entire thing to be the background, we would delete this and we would go to settings here and we would choose background color and let's go for a yellow. Okay, so you're starting to see it's getting the professional look of it. Now let's let's add a a two column, a two column thing with a logo and like a name. So let's put a, an image here and you could put another image here or let's put we could put a heading here, actually, I feel like that could convert slightly better. So you could put a headline here. So let's say, let's say you're selling a personal training package. So um, let's put in, this copy is absolutely awful, by the way. This is all completely off the cuff. Now let's just add an image in here. So let's download an image on the splash. Personal training. You can see how I'm just trying to I'm just trying to illustrate how how easy this all is. So let's just go for a let's go for that. Download for free. Right now, I, I, you would never put that here. You would put your logo here because that's major ugly. But this is more for. I'm just trying to explain it to you. Really, I'm not trying to make something that looks amazing. If you do want me to go through an amazing opt-in page to actually create, then by all means, let me know and I will do that. Let's add a little border. Right now, this is all too big. So let's just 
settings. To change this, you can change the margin here, the bottom, and you can get rid of the top a bit. Now, I'm sure you're seeing that this is not centered and it's really annoying you. So you just go into settings here and you would just bring it down with the top margin a bit. And you can also make it slightly larger, okay? So, right. Not bad, okay? That's looking pretty good so far. And if you wanna, and that's what it will look like on the actual website, right? So now let's add another section. So you don't wanna add another row. You wanna go for the green hover and add a section. Now for this one, you can either go full width again or you can go, or you can go wide, small, medium. So we are going to go medium. Okay, I'm going to add a title. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two column thing and I'm going to put a picture of an ebook. So fitness ebook, because remember this is an opt-in page. We want people to sign up for their free thing. So let's just use this as an example. Right now, if this was, if I was doing this for real, I would cut out the white background, I'd make it look pretty, and obviously I would use my own, my own thing. But just again, explaining how simple this is. And remember, this is an entire website basically. So it's actually really, really impressive. And let's see where that went. I think it went to my desktop, there we go. Okay. Right, and now we would put some writing in there. So large call to action, and then let's do another one. Let's do a subheadline, and then let's do a, a new element, which is going to be an opt-in. So we want to do input, and then we want to do another input, depending on if you want their name and email. You'll get a higher sign-up rate if you just ask for their email, but we'll put another input there anyway, and then we'll put a button, all right? And then we can change this, be your, your name rather than your email address. And I'll show you how to set that in a second. And then let's say you want this to match, so you would go advanced and you'd go style, sorry, you'd go fluid, you'd go full width, and now it's the same. This is a very, very basic page. It does not look pretty. Again, this is all off the cuff, just showing you how simple this is. Right, now you want to connect this up. So you go to settings, integrations, and select the integration. Now I've connected my entire ClickFunnels account up with my GetResponse account. If you need help doing that, let me know in the comments down below. I can happily help you with that. But once you do that and you select the funnel and the, the email list that I'll go to, this will automatically connect, okay? So the large call to action can be anything. I don't know, get your free copy of the strong advice today. Put your email in below to get your copy, whatever it may be, I don't know. And then the click to sign up would go to set action and you can say, go to the next page. So go to the next step in the funnel, which would be the thank you page. All right, and then afterwards, let's, let's say you want to add one more row, another full width row with that background color. So let's go back to that background color. And within that full row, you just want to add your um, disclaimers, really. So let's do one column, add new element. I think there might be a disclaimers thing, but I'm not actually sure. If there's not, that's fine. Just do paragraphs, it's very small. And then you would just do, if you can spell it right, that is, disclaimer. And then obviously you have that, okay? Now, Okay, by no means is this a pretty website and I completely agree with you, this is not a pretty website, but do you see the power of this? Imagine this was your logo. Imagine you actually had good copy. Imagine you had a solid um, ebook to give them, right? Imagine you actually had good copy here and then imagine you had maybe some reviews down here and then the actual disclaimer, right? This could do really, really well for your business. You would get so many signups. So, and it took me, how long has this video been going on for? 10 minutes. It probably took me about eight minutes of the 10 minutes to make this. And it's super, super easy. So once you've done that, you click save, right? I'll ask you to give it a name. So let's just say YouTube test and brilliant. And then you click save. And once you've done that, you can just go back and if you've got your page here, now you can do your thank you page as well in the same kind of 
theme, right? So let's say you want to do the exact same theme. You can save your opt-in page as a template and use that template for the thank you page, right? And once you use that template for the thank you page, you'll have the yellow and the on the top and the yellow on the bottom with the logo and everything. And you can just change the writing in the middle. Or you could just use a thank you page. All of these thank you pages on ClickFunnels have been massively tested by them. A lot of money has gone into them and I'm sure that they work absolutely brilliantly. We have used them just a bit, but we prefer to test our own really. And another very cool thing you can do, this is going slightly more advanced, is you can create a variation. So you can create this exact same thing over here and, it, and just change one thing. So instead of saying, do you want to get fit? You can be like, it's time to get fit. So just tweaking it slightly, and then when you're running traffic to it, it will tell you which one is getting a higher opt-in rate and then you can select that one to be your main one and you can keep tweaking and keep testing until your opt-in rates are really, really high. So that is pretty much a very basic look at how to create an opt-in page with ClickFunnels. I hope that made sense to you. If you would like more ClickFunnels videos, then let me know in the comments, send me a DM, whatever you wanna do. I will happily make entire series on ClickFunnels because I personally use ClickFunnels to make over $150,000 and I absolutely love ClickFunnels. We use it for pretty much all of our businesses at this point, even our physical businesses and our digital businesses. We just use it for everything. So we even use it for stuff like strategy calls and, and anything we do really, it's just brilliant. So if you want me to make more tutorials on ClickFunnels so you can kind of see how you can use it in your business because it works with print on demand, it works with Amazon, it works with courses, it works with Shopify, it literally work, it works with services if you're a photographer, a videographer, whatever it is, it works with everything. So let me know in the comments and I will happily, happily make those for you. Thank you so much for coming. For coming? No, you're staying put. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video.